Well, late good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is 10.35. Just got back from the Red Brick House and took a shower, and after I get finished with this, I'm going to sleep. Been a great day. Got a lot of work done. Tomorrow is a big day at the Red Brick House, if you care. Uh, tomorrow we've got um, our shower pan inspection. So we got two inches of water sitting in our shower pans to make sure that they'll, they don't leak. And um, as long as they don't, then that'll pass. Um, had a couple of things on framing for the part of the house. You know, the, the old beam originally, he wanted some extra supports up underneath of there. Um, even though it's been there for 203 years without falling apart, but we took care of those and a couple other minor issues and things. And we've done all the insulation that we had too. So fingers crossed, if it all goes well tomorrow, we can start uh, putting the cement board on the shower and we can um, start hanging drywall. So big, big day tomorrow. Uh, gonna try and get up early and uh, get started soon in early afternoon inspections, of course. But anyway, be that as it may, we've had the schedule release. We did a live stream from the Red Brick House. Shout out to all you great people. Um, what I'm going to do when I get back home uh, this week before we come back down, um, we have a lot of great channel members. And um, when you become a channel member, you automatically get a shot glass. And depending on what level, you get more and more stuff. But we've had some incredible Mojo fans and super fans that have been fans for you know some of you 40 months and stuff so i'm going to be sending out some uh some stuff for you guys as a thank you for being members for so long and really supporting the channel and stuff because without you guys you guys don't understand how much and how important it is for the things that you guys do and even if you're not a channel member we appreciate you just being here watching the show um, hitting the like button or commenting, all these things help the algorithm and help the channel to grow. And believe it or not, we hit a milestone on this channel. This channel has 50 million total views. I am humbled by that. I, that that's, it's insane that 50 million times somebody watched this face. I don't even know what to say on that other than thank you. So we've got our schedule going through it um, in real time during the live stream. I looked at it and I said, I think we could go 13 and four if everything goes well. And health is a key. Health more than anything else is the biggest key on any schedule. Dak gets hurt. We saw what happened in 2020. Um, or, yeah, 2020. Was it 2020? Or 2021? But, you, you know, whatever it was. And we ended up having, you know, Ben DiNucci and Andy Dalton and all play. That's a key thing. And a bit of luck. There's always going to be some games that you win that you're not expecting to. And there's always going to be some games that you lose <sighs> that you're not expecting to as well. So they think those things kind of even out. And the other thing is, is looking at the schedule now, you're going by what happened last year versus what's going to happen this year. Half the teams that were playoff teams typically from one year to the next don't make it the next year. So some of those games that you're playing, you look at right now and say, that's going to be a tough game that might end up being easy. And some of those cupcake games that you think that are going to be tough, I mean, cupcake games that you think are going to be easy, end up being really tough. So that's the thing you don't know. Now, there's the sweetheart teams. You know, we've got now people talking about the Jets. They believe they're going to go 13-4. and four. Don't they have Miami and Buffalo in their division? Okay. All right, we'll see on that one. I had, <laughs> I've apparently pissed off now Jet fans because I've already got a Jet fan that said, put your money where your mouth is. You know, it's bet $500 on there, two to one odds. Okay. Anyway. Okay. 
I'm going to go through the schedule and I'll give you my thoughts on this. Um, the New York Giants in New York, week one. I was there in 2012, Joe Boo's first game. That was the New York Giants coming off of the Super Bowl and having the season opener on Thursday night. It was supposed to be their coronation for their party. I mean, for the Super Bowl win. And Joe Boo kind of jinxed them a little bit there. Cowboys beat the defending Super Bowl champions there. I think that that's a win. I'm still not sold on the Jets. Sorry, Jet fan. Okay, sorry you're triggered. You know, I know you guys are feeling that, yeah, Aaron Rodgers, but I'm telling you, Aaron Rodgers, the diva, looks out for Aaron Rodgers. And I'm not sure that you're ready to take that big a leap. But that's okay. You're playing on the road in Dallas. I'm saying that's two wins for the Cowboys. The Cardinals. The Cardinals will be without Kyler Murray then. New coach. Players that don't want to be there. I think the Cowboys go 3-0. and New England in Dallas. Got home cooking. Not playing in New England. Um, Bill Belichick without Tom Brady. Kind of lost a little bit of his luster. Um... Yeah, I think the Cowboys are 4-0. I'm oh, probably crazy, and one of those games will probably lose because that's the way it works in football. So then we play in San Francisco. That can be an emotional game. That could be the Cowboys, kind of like when they play the Green Bay Packers in the playoffs and they lost to them, and then they beat them during the regular season. That it was an emotional win there, but then they lost again to him in the playoffs. That's one of those ones that I wouldn't be surprised if we lost, and I wouldn't be surprised if we win, but I'll put it down as a loss. So I have a 4 and 1 there. Um, the Chargers at home, Dak beat Justin Herbert before, home cooking. I think the Cowboys get that win. The Rams, I think, are a shell of themselves. I think the Cowboys get the win there. The Eagles at Philadelphia. You Eagle fans can say what you want about Dak Prescott. Philly 500, literally, uh, when I, you know, somebody asked him about, what about those 40 burgers that Dak put on? Y'all immediately go to, oh, Gardner Minshew was playing. But the funny thing is, is the week before, Jalen Hurts only scored 24 points against the Bears. I believe they had the number one pick in the draft, didn't they? 24. I think your season average was 28.4 points a game. That's what you average every week. With Gardner Minshew against us, which had a good defense, he scored 34. So he scored six points more than your regular average. You can't look and say that he was the problem. Not when your guy only scored 24 against the Bears the week before. And when Philly was asked about that, he immediately never answered the question. All he was like, oh, well, we were in the Super Bowl. Okay. All right. Be that as it may. I think we get that one. I think that this is the Cowboys are sick and tired of hearing from Eagle fans. And they're sick and tired of hearing from the Eagles players. And they get that win. We play the Giants in Dallas. Daniel Jones has never beat Dak Prescott. Never. Enough said. The Cowboys at Panthers. That's a game that I'm actually thinking about going to because that would be interesting to tailgate at. Not that far away, about five, six hour drive. Commanders on uh, Thanksgiving. Cowboys get that win. Seattle at Dallas. For some reason, I think the Seahawks come in there and get a win. Eagles at Dallas, because I think the Cowboys are going to be looking at the Eagles and wanting that ass. I think the Cowboys beat the Eagles. Buffalo in December. Remember how much snow they got last year? That they literally were like feet of snow? Cowboys aren't good in cold weather. I think that's a loss. Against Miami Dolphins. That was one of those ones that it depends on Tua. How's Tua's health? Tua's healthy? Yeah. Like I said, the Dolphins. But I'm going to say that's a loss. The Lions at home, I think the Cowboys get that. And I think the Commanders 
could be one of those games that depends on what it looks like for the division. Is there something to play for or not? And I got to be honest with you. Last year, I had fun. I had fun with my fans and everything else during our tailgate. But it was cold in that stadium. That place is a wreck. And to put that in December, I'm sorry, in February, in January, oh, man, NFL, how could you do me like that? That's freaking insane. So that's where I have 12 and 5 or 13 and 4. I don't think it's a reach any which way. Now, Philly 500, of course, has them 15 and 2. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. And um, I am, <laughs> I, I got a little hostile on my live stream tonight. Because it's so funny about Eagle fans, how they literally live on my channel. And so I put out content for all those Eagles that are on my channel. And then if I say something about the Eagles, then they get butt hurt. You see the hypocrisy there? Philly 500, on a regular basis, is calling out Mark Holmes. You know, me and my chicken farm, as he puts it. Stealing all the chicken wings. And I am the sander of wood. And so on. Um, so, am I supposed to ignore that? Understand this. Some of y'all take stuff way, way too seriously. Seriously. Um, what Philly 500 and I have is fun between us. We ride each other. Well, pause, 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 pause. We bust on each other when we're down. Okay? But we also lift each other up when we're down. We're friends. Flat out. And everything in the world doesn't have to be a fight. Life is precious and life is too short. You only have so much time to spend. I choose to try and enjoy what I do. And I'll be honest with you. I, I can't even imagine. I, I can't even quantify how much joy and excitement I get from working on that old house. That old house that most people said, tear that shit down. It's getting harder and harder for me to leave there. I'm getting so, we're staying later and later in the evening and working. Because that's what I enjoy. I enjoy taking something that's unwanted, worn down, broken, and trying to bring the beauty out of it. And I hope that when I'm gone, that that place right there will be a place they say, you know, Mark Holmes and his family, they took that piece of junk and they helped it live, hopefully, for another 200 years. That, my friends, is what life's about. Let go of all this hate, all this anger, and all this fighting and stuff. Life's too short and too precious. I hope you all have a great night, and remember to tell the people you love you love them, because you might not get the chance again, and I love you guys.